have a Goldbrook Bridge or the Stowe Hollow Bridge and popular parlance everyone knows it as Emily's Bridge and I think people come from all over really the U.S. and the world to this bridge because of supernatural activity. The legend goes that there was a young woman named Emily um, and at some point between 1849 and 1949 in there she was uh, uh, jilted by a lover. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you! Oh. That is so nice. The ball just went off! Yo, it's right there! So what's up, Finding Dystopia family? We just arrived at Emily's Bridge in Stowe, Vermont. And now we are actually really excited for this episode because it's the most notorious location that we've actually been to so far. Now, if you don't know the story, the story goes that sometime between the early 1800s and late 1800s, there was a lover and her consort, I guess you could say. And now the lover's name was Emily, and she was supposed to meet her consort here at the bridge, and they were gonna run off together and elope because their parents didn't agree or approve of the marriage. Now, long story short, her lover never showed up, so Emily, the story is told a few ways, but she all ends with her inevitable demise on this bridge. Now, there are a few theories, one stating she just jumped off the bridge, uh, another theory is that she actually hung herself on the bridge, and then the third theory is that her horses or something freaked out and her carriage uh, drove off the bridge down into the ravine. Some of the local legend is that Emily is a very malicious spirit towards men because she holds this hatred in her heart from when she died. People have been scratched, they've heard disembodied voices, they've caught apparitions. There's a few things that we're actually here to look out for today. We're very excited to see what kind of activity we can catch and uh, we're glad to have you guys along for the ride with us. So without further ado, Finding Dystopia family, we will see you soon. Hi, Emily. My name is Joe. I'd like to know if you could uh, to let me know if you're here. I saw that REM pod going off. Can you make it go off again? You don't have to be afraid of me. I'm going to back up a little bit from the REM pod here. See if we can get some activity from you. We're very sorry, Emily, about what happened to you in this bridge. If you could, I'd like to, uh, it's going off, hot spike.
Emily, can you stop touching that for a second? Just so I know you understand what I'm saying. I'm listening right now through a device. If you make a, a knock or a bang or a thud, or if I hear anybody walking, Wow, this thing's going nuts. It's going nuts. So to anybody that's on the bridge, including Emily, who we came here for, to have a conversation with, we'd really like to talk to you, Em. Are you here with us tonight? Emily? Can you make that REM pod go off again? I'm going to try to take out something that you can use your words. Try to see if you can communicate with me a little bit better. You can choose any one word or a whole sentence. This device that I have in my hand is called Spirit Talker. And all you have to do is walk up to it and pull any word out of it that you'd like to. So I'm gonna turn it on. And you can see that I have it running in front of me. Calling out to the spirit of Emily. Yeah. back we just finished setting up um 
We've got uh, two uh, K2 meters down here. We've got the S-Box. Uh, we're going to get ready to get started here. Um, you want to ask first question? You want me to? Uh, since you've the, been uh, here right before, here. why don't you go first? Okay. Is there anybody here with us right now? You don't have to be afraid of approaching us. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to learn your story. There's a lot of myths and legends about this place that are just myths and legends. We want to be able to tell people uh, who's really here and um, what really, what's really, uh, what really happened here. Not just the way it happened here. Not just the way it happened here. Not just the legend of Emily. You're still? That was something. I don't know what. That's Robert. I think it's Robert. Is that you here with us today, Robert? Robert, my name is Anthony, and you don't have to be afraid of us. We're just here to document your story. You can walk up to us and touch any of these glowing devices to let us know of your presence.
there anybody down here at this old sawmill with us? If you speak your name into this device, we might be able to hear you. Is there a malicious spirit here by the name of Robert? that might be here, walk up to those glowing green lights and touch them. They'll light up to let us know you're here. Yeah, that didn't sound nice. Emily, were you hung on this bridge like the story says? Can you light up one of the lights to let us know if that's real? Were you pushed off this bridge? I just heard something come out of that spirit yeah. box. Yeah, it is the REM pods lighting up. Emily, there are many different devices that you can use right now on this bridge. And if you actually wanted to, right now, if you Thank you, Emily. Now I'm going to ask another question. Is there someone else besides Emily here? So if there is somebody else here, can you turn that flashlight on? For there you go. Thank you. That works. Are you the person that injured Emily? Or are you a friend of Emily's? So Tammy has a device that will allow you to talk. 
and we won't hear you right now, but we will hear you later. You also can talk with words through the device that Greg is holding. It's got a purple top. Well, Thank like, you. That Thank works. You. That lets us know you're here. Now, we'd like to really hear from the gentleman That's a hot spike. Yeah, it's light, not red. Yeah. All right. It's sensing hot temperature. While you guys are all over this side, how about this side? I have a mad ball over here to whomever I'm speaking to. All you have to do is walk up and tap it. You think you can do that? Oh, that's awesome. Really appreciate you taking the time with us. If there's someone here, can you touch one of those green lights? How many spirits are here with us? Could you give us a number? Did you die in an accident at, in an accident at the mill? I did. Like that, that was, that was, that was, so if there's a serious threat on me, that was a spirit, because that was probably about 15 of the radio stations, and it was the same voice over and over. I don't know, oh, come on. Really, already? See? See, I told you it's going yellow. And now it just went purple, and the hot spike, the flashlight, oh my god, bro. It was hard to I think so. Yeah. No way. I got it on camera. That's the first time we've had a hard time. That was full red? It was like being a thing that I was like, oh. We, 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 we. But it's hard to see it. I know. It's a lot of water. You, you can see it, though. Were you traveling with friends when this incident happened? It's hitting blue. Yep, I see it. Oh, my God. Dude, this is... What? Stop it. It said yeah, stop it. Stop. Is this making you angry? I know we're it's cold lot, and it's hot at the same time. I know we're asking a lot of questions only, but we want, really want some answers. Okay, to the spirits that are here, I'm going to give you something that's a little clearer. You can use a word or a whole sentence to kind of convey what kind of message you want to send to us. I see that you're hitting the REM pod, you're hitting the flashlight. You're hitting the cold device. The only thing you haven't touched yet are the cat balls. Everything else in here is going off. I'm gonna turn this on at full volume. Now if anybody's got anything that they'd like to say, please walk up to this device and speak as loud and clear as you can. Can whoever turn the flashlight on, can you turn it back off and kind of break? I need my spirit. If there is more than two spirits here, can you please turn the flashlight God, back on? Everywhere. On the count of three. One. Pain. Two. Pain. Three. And there it is. Pain. We have more than two spirits here because I said if there are more than two, turn the flashlight on. Thank I, you very much. I really appreciate that. You keep rolling. I'll be back. Joey has a device that you can talk through. Tammy and Marcus Sorry. have a device that you can talk through. Can you use one of those and let us know your name? Flashlight's going off again. Thank you for using that device. 
What do you want to tell us? There's many different devices that you can use. I'm with family. I'm with family. You're with family? We yeah, need I energy. Yes, sir. It's going off now, too. Okay, so there's plenty of energy here. I appreciate what you're doing. We really want to talk to you. No, go away. No, go away. Oh. Who is talking to us no, right now? Or is it the gentleman that's talking to us? Why do you want us to leave? Be careful in here. Be careful, be careful in here. here. Why do we have to be careful? Emily, please, I know there's a lot of people here, and you may be a little bit scared to communicate. Please shut the flashlight off first. Let's try one thing at a time. Two lights. Oh, I gotta bring this thing closer, man. It's too far away. Well, it is claiming that it needs energy. It said two lights were on, the flashlight was on, and so was this. So, I don't know, but I'm gonna put this here. Upset you me. Upset me. Why did we upset you? And I hear a hot temp spike going off on that REM pod. What did we do to, to upset you? Emily, all of us, we just want to come here and have a conversation with you. Listen carefully. Listen, Listen carefully. Okay. okay. We're listening. Okay. Emily, earlier I asked if you were hung on this bridge, and you said no to the lights. Can you confirm that again for us, with either the light or through the box that's on the ground? Whoa. Whoa! Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Purple flashlight. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Emily. I don't get too excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Wow. 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 Thank you, Emily. And you said James. that there was a male spirit here. Yeah. James. James. It is kind of like a game playing with all these devices. I've never seen this much activity in one clip, ever. And we've been like, to like... That's a good one. Like, 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 like... Do you like playing with the lights? Malice. 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 Wow. Wow. Oh! Thank you so much, that's awesome! Wow, that REM pod is unreal. Sarah. 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 Wow, isn't it weird how everything kind of just stopped? Really? So this lady right down here, her it turns out her name is Sarah. Um, Sarah, is that how you spell it? I, I had no idea about that. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. I was there like, we go. Oh, okay, my name. <laughs> it's already going off. It's already going off. Robert, are you still here? 
It's going yellow too. Robert, if that is you, can you hit one of the other devices as well? Finish. You finished talking with us, huh? What happened to me? We were hoping you could tell us that. I've never gotten this much activity here. This is awesome. I'm so glad you guys are here. I can't believe this hot spike will not stop. Yeah, that thing is just non-stop. Oh, there was one time here on my millimeter. It's Where over here. It's okay. Over there. On the millimeter. Listen to me. Listen. To me. Okay. Okay, Emily, we will stop talking and we will let you you talk. We'll just ask spike questions. Millimeter after. Emily, we want to be able to tell your story to other people. Can you please let us know what you know about your death? That There's always something standing that corner. Wow, Kayla, did you see a light just flicker? I turned, I turned it up. Oh. So everybody keeps saying in this left side, somebody's standing here. Yep. And when I put this down, I'm going to show you how it works. Two men here. Two men here. Two men here. Two men here. And you guys said that there was two men. There was two males. Robert and what was the other name? Christopher, right? Would you be able to walk in front of this just like this? And it will sense. Get out. Get out. Whoa! I'm sorry. If that is Robert, we are not leaving. You're going to have to try a lot harder than that to get us to leave here. Are you standing in the left corner? Okay. Let me try and give you some room, of Robert. Of course. Of course. No way, guys. It just. Standing in the left corner. Of course. So you're talking right there. Yeah. Can you touch that K2 meter? Invoke. Yes. I'm invoking you. We are here to hurt you. We just want to learn all of your stories. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. So, one meter, two meter, three meter. Oh. No way, that's hitting blue? Yeah. We should definitely go like lights out at some point. I was, I was thinking the same yeah. thing. Yeah. I'm still around. I'm still around. You know you're still here, Robert. And we appreciate you being here. This one? Yes. Coming. It's coming. It's coming up the road. It's not coming down. Okay. Well, somebody said that there was somebody standing on that left side. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Can you move from that one to this one, please? Wow. Thank Whoa. you. Whoa. 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 Shit. Wait, where's my kids? 
guys, I'm sorry, but the battery on my iPhone is dying. It usually lasts like five hours. NBA. Something is my taking camera. my power. Another hot spike, and it's going off again. So I made the grass mat straws wow. here. We got 90 on one of the devices. Right. 1800s. Well, let's talk about 1890. Could be. It could be when this girl supposedly herself. Yeah. Bandit's hope. Yeah. Bandit's hope. Bandit's hope. Bandit's hope. Bandit's hope. Bandit's hope. bit on me. watching ghost channels and doing this shit for the ball just yeah, went off bro Wait, what's it? it's unpleasant here well if you're stuck here uh you do not have to stay here it's <laughs> crazy nope, you can leave anytime you can think so of the meter days. on the meter oh, off no meter grandpa grandpa going on it's an older guy's type entity keeping you here All right, so guys, I say we do lights out. Yeah, yeah let's do lights out for a bit. Now, if there's anybody here that can communicate in any way, we have a light strip in front of me. We have multiple devices that are in front of all of us. You can touch any one of them and make them go off. My name is Rose. My name is Rose? My name is Rose. Hi, Rose. That device has never said anything like that ever. Yeah. It's never said my name is before. Rose, were you a sister to Emily? Did you know Emily? Well, guys, I'm like a little freaked out. Like top movement. Movement? Movement. I keep seeing movement down past me on your uh, ring there. I thought there was somebody standing behind you. I've seen that twice, Anthony. I literally well, thought there was somebody like standing behind me. Oh, no, down down there is someone the right behind me. I can feel him. I hear an alarm. Oh! oh! One, two, three! Can you turn the flashlight on, too? 
Or you can use your voice to talk through any of these devices. My life ended fast. My, life, My life ended, ended fast. fast. Wow. Yes, we know it did. I'm so sorry. I got the chills right now. Yeah. My phone just said we, or my app said we. Yes, I So is it possible for you to set them off again? Any one of the set. Set. Can you yes. set them all up, all up, so we can have a nice finale for the end of the day? Oh. Which one? Oh, it's by the on the floor. Can There's you set off that light yeah. strip too? How about one of the small green lights that are just? You, I was scared. I promise you're safe with us. It's been very nice talking to you. We really appreciate it. We thank you guys so, so much for being here with us and showing us your power. Can you light up one of the REM pods if you want, if you want us to leave for the night? Or give us any other indication. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We really appreciate you talking to us tonight. Human Oh, wow, the lightning broke them up. Oh, thank God. you so much. We'll leave you guys alone now. They're lighting everything up. Okay. Yeah, they're doing your okay. finale. Thank you guys. Thank you guys thank so you. much. We appreciate everything you've given us and talked to us about tonight. We are so thankful for everything you've done. Wow, holy wow. moly. Thank you so much. Blonde hair. I wonder if <laughs> Emily had blonde hair. Wow. Whoa. Oh my god, dude. Hold on, Joey, that one by your foot's going up, too. We're sinking up. Oh, me neither. I know you guys have to do that, but I don't. So, all right. Thank you so much. Can you turn off all the lights for just a minute? Stop touching the ramp up the pods. We have, we want to ask a question. Do you still want us to stay? It's the, you can light up any device. It's not. We have eyes on you. Oh, oh shit! Wow. We have eyes on you. Is that what that just said? Yes, it is. Somebody played with that music box just a minute ago. I'm calling out to any and all spirits that are here. Emily, 
the two men, Robert, Robert, the twins, anybody that would like to communicate or listen to some sort of music, please go over and touch that music box just like you were. Wow, it went silent. Not one device is moving. Ah, hot spike. Touch that music box, please. One last time. It's a matter everybody's camera died, so you lost energy? Is that what you need? There you are. You were outside, weren't you? I knew it. You can play with those REM pods. Touch the music box, please. Come on, just one more time. I'm willing to stay with you in this freezing cold temperature just to get an idea of how well you can communicate and understand what I'm saying. I want to see your intelligence. I keep going to start wrapping up here soon. Yeah. But then don't worry, I promise we'll be back with you on chat more. Absolutely, we'll come back. And we appreciate all of us, appreciate everything that you've shown us tonight, the communication, the intelligence. And Emily, if you are here and you want to follow us out, you don't want to stay here anymore. You can follow us out into the bright light. That will take you to the other side. Don't be afraid of it. With that being said, anything that's here tonight does not have permission to follow us home, does not have permission to harm me, my family, or my team. And that goes for the team that we were blessed to have just an awesome time with tonight. We were definitely, definitely meant to meet tonight, and I'm really, really glad that we... Oh, that's bright. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> that we were, I'm really glad we are all able to, able to meet. We were definitely, it was, we were meant to both be here tonight. To everybody who stuck around to the end of the video, we thank you so, so much. And if you aren't part of the Finding Dystopia family yet, then please like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you never miss a beat. And uh, we just want to say that this episode was a little different. We were not expecting to run into another paranormal team tonight, but we think it was for the benefit of us that we both got to meet, so then in the future we can do some sort of collaboration, work on things together, talk about locations and whatnot. But we do plan on coming back to this location, hopefully by ourselves, and definitely very, very late at night. We want to come around here around 3 a.m. next time and see what we can capture. So uh, if you want to see that, make sure to smash like. And uh, without further ado, Finding Dystopia family, we will see you in the next video. Peace.